The second principle is that money is not for spending. That truth fundamentally changes your attitude about money. Now, when you understand that your role is a steward or a caretaker of God's provision in your life, you look back, then it becomes clear that the more trustworthy and obedient steward you are, the more you're given to take care of, the more you manage. And it is sometimes very unsatisfying and it feels very bad when you have had money, you spent it, and you have no idea where it has gone. If somebody put together some eggs, some flour, some butter, and some cocoa, and eat, ate all those things, and they say they have eaten a cake. Have they actually eaten a cake? So if you want to eat a cake, what do you do? This is a process. You have always to do something about these ingredients. Mm. So you need a plan. You need a formula through which to process your money before you dispense and appropriate or spend it. Trying to hold and manage money is like trying to hang on a handful of water. Can you hold water in your hand? Mm. No. And that is where we need to have a plan. We need to decide. We need to know way before the money comes, we have a plan of what this money is going to do. We know where the money is going to go, but we need to be organized about it. We know there's a portion of our money that needs to go to the kingdom of God. We need to invest in that area. Mm. If you live and you walk the streets, you have to pay the tax man. You need to be able to take care of your lifestyle. And so there's some money that's going to go to community activities. There's going to be a fundraiser in the church. The other portion of your money has to go into your self-development. You need to study a course. You need to do something. And a portion of your money has to be secured mm -hmm. for tomorrow. Yeah. They are savings and the investments. Now, all those things cannot happen if you don't have a plan. You need to have a plan so that one sector is not taking more. You don't want entertainment to take school fees. So you need to do budgeting. And that whole idea of making sure that money is not for spending. Money first, you plan for it. It's like you have all the ingredients, but you want to bake the cake. Money without a specific direction has a way of disappearing. And I know that sounds very familiar to a lot of people. If you have money and you have not determined what to do with it, you will be surprised how it disappears. And that's why we need to have a plan. What are all the monies I'm having? And exactly where is that money going? And do I like where it is going or can I do an adjustment? This is the time we do adjustments in our cost of living. And if our source is not increasing, then means we have to adjust something. Because if you don't adjust something, then we are going to get into a lot of debt. If you actually want to become effective in managing money, then we become agreeable that money is not for spending. Before you spend it, you need to have a solid plan. And with a solid plan, then it gets easier for you to spend the money. Governments plan, churches do the planning, schools do the planning, businesses do the planning. It is impossible for me as an individual to fail to do the planning. If you want to come to class, there are five free slots. Be the first one to book or you WhatsApp 0708-150-137 and you'll be given one of the five free slots. Mm. Uh, you can also get yourself a copy of uh, my good book, Wallet Words, where these principles are very well explained and maybe slowly you can learn about them.